Hello everyone. Welcome back to Infinite Coding. So, hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to make a repeating pattern using Scratch. So, before going to the video, if you find my video informative, please like, share and subscribe. So, you need to go to the Scratch website. Click on the create to create the new project. Here I am going to make a rainbow pattern. So, I will delete the sprite and I will make another sprite. So click on this paint option. Go to this circle. Choose the color as red. And draw a circle of it. And you need to... Yes. yes. So this is our sprites. Go to the code session. And we're going to write the code for this sprite. Go to events. Say when flag clicked. Now go to motions and tick move. I'm going to move my duct. In the motion itself, there's another block called tip on edge bounce. Take that also and click on the green flag and see. Now it's moving, right? So if I want to move it, Continuously, go to controls and place a forever block. Now see. Is it moving and then if we think the edges, it's getting bounced, right? Now I'm going to name the sprite as dot one. You can name it over here, the sprite. Change the name to dot one. Click on this direction. So now you're able to see the direction of the sprite. See, it's rotating as I'm changing the direction here, right? If I want my dot to move all over the stage, go to motion. And there's an option called point in direction. Take that. And go to operators. And take the pick random here and making my dot to move all over the stage. For that, I need to change the value as minus 180 to 180. Now let's see. Yes. It's moving the entire stage area. Fine. Now what I need is that I need to duplicate this dots. Right click on the dot and duplicate it. One more time, duplicate it. So there are three dots. So I need one more dot. Duplicate that also and change the name as drawing dot. Okay. Here you can see that all the dots have the same codes. We don't need to write the code again as they are the duplicate ones and click on the drawing dot and delete the code. Now we are going to write the code in this drawing dot for the pattern. So go to events, take green flag click, go to controls and take, take the forever loop, go to motion and take go to random position and change to dot one. Go to this plus symbol and take the pen extension. Take the pen down option. Then again go to motion and take go to random position out and make it as dot two. And one more time here and make it as dot three. Now click on the green flag and see. Yes, the pattern is getting drawn, right? Okay. So, whenever I'm clicking the green flag again, the same pattern is appearing. This will not happen. So, what will I do? Go to the pen extension and take the erase all and take it here. Now, see. Now, when I'm clicking the green flag, a new pattern arises, right? Okay. So, here, if you want to change the pen color, you can change the pen color. And also, you can set the pen size. 
Now see, yes. Now, now the color is changing. Let me set the pen size as five and see. Yes, we are getting a thicker version also. So if you want to hide your dots, that is your sprite, here we are having the dots as a sprite. There's another option, go to dot one and go to looks and select the option called hide and place it here. You have to do it for all the dots, for dot one and dot two, hide. For dot three also, hide. And for this dot four also, you need to give hide. So now let's see, yes, now the dot is not appearing, just a pattern. Hope you enjoy the video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.